Eight-year-old Jeffrey Mullen looks like any other kid on the baseball field, but Jeffrey has cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is an inherited disease that strikes by the age of two. It clogs the lungs and causes life-threatening lung infections. Cystic fibrosis also stops enzymes from helping the body break down and absorb food. Antibiotics help prevent the infections, and breathing machines can help loosen mucus in the lungs. But the disease cannot be cured. People with cystic fibrosis can now live into their thirties and forties, and some live beyond that. But for parents, the diagnosis is a shock. Stuart Mullen is Jeffrey's father. You start off when you hear that diagnosis, and, and it's like mourning. Um, it was the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. Scientists have learned a lot about the disease by studying laboratory mice, but cystic fibrosis does not develop in mice the same way as it does in humans. Scientists at the University of Iowa and Missouri are producing pigs with cystic fibrosis through genetic engineering. Professor Randy Prather is on the research team at the University of Missouri. The pig system is actually much more similar to humans than the mouse system is. And in addition, genetically, the pig is about three times closer to the human than is the mouse. While this might seem cruel, Professor Prather says doctors will no longer have to try experimental treatments on children. Right now, we don't have any cures. We have treatments that can prolong life in some cases, but people are still dying from cystic fibrosis lung disease. It's imperative that we develop a model and if we have to use pigs, we really don't have any other choice right now. Hopefully they'll develop the lung disease so that people can come up with treatments for this uh, genetic disease. Living with cystic fibrosis is normal for Jeffrey. He's used to the daily medicines and a vest that shakes his chest. There's junk in my lungs and I, we have to shake it up to get it out. Meantime, Jeffrey's parents hope a cure is near. Carol Pearson, VOA News, 